Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Lag Snowy here, bringing guys another Black Ops 3 gameplay, and it is actually going to be some arena mode. And I am playing with my friend Slightworks, and you know, you already know <laughs> this match was pretty slight work. I did happen to pop off, and I also made a video with my friend J Money Rich the other day talking about uh, COD Infinite Warfare versus Battlefield Warring Trailers and you guys should definitely go check that out I think it's pretty informative he puts a lot of work into his edits and his videos but either way let's get into this talk that I want to talk about and that is improving yourself in Call of Duty so there's multiple ways to do this you can mess with your sensitivity you can try going against bots on veterans there's multiple ways to increase yourself in Call of Duty but what I find the best way to get better at Call of Duty is actually playing some arena mode having the team communication because you're definitely going to need that in arena mode if you're trying to win it'll teach you how to play the objective and how to play when there's other people playing at such a high skill you're going to learn and adapt to what they do and you're just going to realize the situations you also need for one main thing in Call of Duty, you need map awareness. I'm looking out this door right here because I see my teammates have the backside locked out. And right here, I just got lucky, but I still see my teammates are over there. Now, I knew they would come from that way. I just got pinched, but you need map awareness. You need to know callouts. Well, not know callouts, but just know the rotations of certain things. Know where people are most most likely to go try and pre-aim everything don't run into a ring see if I would have just ran into that ring right there I was guaranteed to die because I would not have looked in that corner and seen someone like that and also use your specialist to your advantage I use my psychosis to try and bait out enemies to shoot that way they can reveal their position and I don't know if you guys can notice, but no one's running Blast Suppressor because that was actually banned. Which actually does suck. And right here, I feel so unaccustomed to my surroundings just because I have no mini-map. So I had to rely on where my teammates are looking to kind of guess where I need to be looking. Also, having awareness does help if you do have a headset. It can help out greatly, but you just mostly need to know your gun, your gun fights that you can win, your shot, right there, I honestly should have won that, but you know, it's whatever, we're already going to be on the rotation though for the next hill, and you know, if you play pubs and you just don't like arena mode, playing 4v4s, you can get better at pubs, use a different weapon, use something you're not comfortable with, and if you can do decent with something you're not comfortable with I guarantee that once you go back to your favorite gun you will be destroying people I actually got two gameplays yesterday I'm probably just gonna upload one of them not both of them but I played team deathmatch I went 46 and 5 playing team deathmatch after playing Let's say 10 games of arena mode, which is actually a lot of games seeing how everyone is 10 minutes long. I still haven't reached that 75 limit, but you know, it's all cool, Leo. It doesn't bother me too much that I haven't reached that limit. Also, not using your streak is a major key to uh, knowing what to do. Like right here, I actually do want to call in my streaks, but I'm thinking about my teammate. When I ran out here right now, I ran out here to try and call in streaks in the back of the spawn, but they obviously got there before me, so I'm not going to call in streaks when they're inside. I need to find a good place to actually call in these streaks. Also, if you guys do ever wonder, I ran a 6 sensitivity. It used to be a 5. Then I bumped it up to a 6 and I found that perfect for me. You guys might want to try something different. Also, I didn't split up the hailstorm right there because I was thinking, I don't want to kill my teammate. He might get upset if I do that. Definitely don't want to...
be killing your teammates. Pulled out my fist because I thought I had an RK5 as a secondary, but I replaced that with a stun. Well, I mean, it's not a big deal. But I just can't emphasize how important map awareness actually is. If you see that your teammates are spawning back here, more than likely, the enemy team is on the opposite side. And that's exactly what they were that's exactly where they were when I start calling in the lightning strike and that's all four dead so at this point I have no idea where they're spawning they can't be behind us for sure because we're too far behind there right there that is actually one of the smartest plays for psychosis look at the mini map it reveals one person inside that side room and now my teammate Slightwork can go over there try and challenge got him weak most definitely just couldn't finish the kill but you know that just helps reveal team reveal the enemies out just gotta play it smart try and realize what you're doing if you realize that you're dying dying a lot try slowing it down a lot you know just don't go out there running gunning trying to do everything and right here that was my teammates fault to why i lose that gunfight i don't think he would have known i was right there and then i was just a little bit weak from trying to turn on my teammate and here's the jealousy I'm trying to play too aggressive get taken out for a final kill him anyway that is the game 250 to 52 no this was not a 3v4 this was a complete 4v4 this was just great teamwork all around I finished 22 and 12 my teammate above me did better light work did pretty well as well and uh just everybody on the team was playing phenomenal and exactly what he said with these upgrades you never stood a chance just get some map awareness get some knowledge about the spawns how to play the game typing you'll do just fine anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this video as always and i hope you guys have a wonderful and fantastic day until the next time guys this has been your boy lax